Okay, so today we are going to be doing some work on my 2002 Subaru Double RX. Um, I do quite a lot of work on my cars, my personal cars, and I figured it's time I start documenting some of this stuff on YouTube. So, hope you enjoy it. Um, today we're going to move on to this guy right here. So, we have the 2002 Subaru Double RX, and we are going to be doing a standard oil change today. So, we have with us the um, Royal Purple 5W30 synthetic motor oil or OEM crush washer and oil filter and now what we're going to do is get the car up on some jack stands in the front and get the oil warm by starting the engine letting it run for a little bit and it will drain the oil I'll show you how that's done and um, continue with the process alrighty so let's just uh, get this bad boy started and get this engine going so again this is a 2002 Subaru WRX this temperature come up and uh, as soon as the engine gets hot we'll go ahead and uh, start the drain process on the oil. Okay so we got our engine up to temperature. So the engine is warm, there you go, shut her off, and we're going to head underneath the cart. So got our oil drain pan here, and we're going to pull the cap, pull the oil cap, the oil cap off, leave that to the side. Now. We are going to drain this guy. So here is the oil pan drain plug. So we're going to pull that guy right there. It looks like I got a little leak. The plug was not tight, so just found a problem here. We're going to go ahead and get that drained out and change oil. All right, so we're going to take our 17 millimeter and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy. So I already loosened that, so just in case anybody was curious, it was not that loose. Our drain pan set up, and hopefully we don't spill oil everywhere. Let's see if I can get this right. All right, so this oil is gonna be hot, so you gotta be careful. out and then we're going to pull the oil filter and take it from there okay so we got the drain plug out um, looks pretty clean here no shavings I mean the car barely does any miles anyway so we're gonna have to remove this little crush washer so we remove the crush washer and this will have replaced so this is no good clean that up and we're gonna go underneath and start taking out the oil filter yeah, there we go. This is finished draining, and yes, you guessed it, we created a mess. So, um, got oil everywhere here. So, now we're gonna pull this filter and should be able to get it out by hand. Oh, come on. Slowly but surely it's coming off. Alright. Just gonna get the plug. Temporarily put it in here so we don't 
create a mess as I get this oil out of the drain, the filter drain. All right, so now we're gonna move the oil pan over here. drain a little bit and then we're gonna pull the filter up. So once we get the filter out we'll prep everything to pull back in with the new filter, button of the drain plug and then we'll head up to the top of the engine. All right filter is off um, so we're just letting it finish draining here. I want to make sure that this little gasket comes off and is not stuck on the top there so that's all good because you don't have this gasket stuck up there and then you put a new one on because that's going to be no bueno okay all right so moving on so we got the old oil filter out and this is an aftermarket fram filter so we got the oem subaru much smaller so we're going to take a little bit of oil make sure your hands are clean and we're going to put it on the rubber gasket here and then we're going to screw this up on to the bottom of the cart some people fill the, the filter with oil i don't but um, you know, that's, that's another method of doing it. So we're gonna put that right there, and now we're gonna head up under the car, and we're gonna tighten this. I typically just hand tighten, that's what's recommended. So we head up here, make sure this area is clear, and get the light. And now we're just gonna screw this guy up. tighten it a little bit more off camera but I just want to make sure that's nice and snug then we're going to come back in put the new crush washer onto the bung and then tighten this up to 33 foot pounds okay so we're going to wrap this up now so basically we got the oil filter on the bottom replaced oil drain from the drain plug we had the drain plug retorqued 33 foot pounds and now we're going to go ahead and add our engine oil so I got a funnel right here I'm uh, just going to head on to the bottom of the car just to confirm the drain plug is torqued the oil filter has been put back in place the new one replaced the rubber gasket oiled and then tightened and tightened so it's pretty much on and now we're going to head up add engine oil we're going to put 4.8 quarts so just a matter of pouring in and that's it start your engine and there you go you had your oil changed on and your double rx save yourself some money and um hope you enjoyed this video have a good day